Hey, what's up everybody? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds. I'll show you how to do a work coordinate system when you're doing a 5-axis part. Uh, let's get started. So, this is our part. It's like an octagon shape with holes on every face. So we're just going to back plot what we got so far. So far we're just boring out the hole in the top. What we want to do is get the side holes also, all in the same setup. So go to planes, go to the green plus, click create new plane. Actually, we're going to duplicate this top plane and we're going to call it 100 for off one. I'll show you why we do that here pretty soon. We'll go in the parameters of our tool and tell it to use that plane. So We'll go back in the planes, click create new plane from solid face, and then just click one of the faces. Now arrow over so your X and Y are set correctly so your machine rotates right. Mine rotates 90 degrees and 90 degrees. So we'll call that 101 and click the check. So we'll go to manual and we'll change the minus 1 to 0. I'll go to 101 manual and change that minus 1 to 0. That tells it to stay on work coordinate system G54. We'll copy and paste the toolpath and we'll need to change geometry to that one side we just that one plane we just created. So we'll just delete that. Um, we will activate that plane we just created and then we can go back to the tool, click on geometry and select that hole and click the check. Next go into parameters. Keep the work coordinate system at 100 because that's where we touched off but we want to change these to 101 so it knows to rotate correctly. Next go into linking, just double check all this We'll change that all to absolute. And we'll back plot it. The reason why we keep um, the planes in our second toolpath at 100 on the work coordinate system is because we did not touch off the 101. We only touched off the 100. So we have to let Mastercam figure out where 101 is by <clears throat> like putting them together in that toolpath. So next, we're just going to create all the planes for the sides, just repeating what we did. So that's 102 from solid face, arrow over, call that 103. Change that to zero. And if you didn't change that to zero, each toolpath would be um, a different work um, offset. So it wouldn't just be G54. It would be G54. The next toolpath would be G55 and G56. So all we're telling it to do is just stay on the same work offset. And that's just kind of the basics of, of how you do it. We went really fast, but um, that's just a quick overview of how to set up planes for uh, five axis milling. Um, hope you guys liked this video. Uh, if you want to see some more, subscribe. Thanks.